Please remember to hit like and subscribe and perhaps even become a member or patron to support the channel. Also, I want to give a super special shout out to all my awesome tier 3 members and patrons, Riptide, Anik D, Z Wandra, Matthew Hall and Charlene Kelly for their amazing support. It really helps and means a lot. Hey guys and welcome back to Simply but I Darkest Falls mod. So for some reason my mic's audio uh, filter audio filters aren't working so you can hear the clicking of my mouse and stuff. Uh, but hopefully I'm not sneezing or sniffing or snoring too loud so you guys can hear that. But yeah, we're back at the base. Uh, just drank and ate a little bit. We need to grab... Oh, as you guys can hear, there's zombies down below. We need to grab the junk baton and gather some forged iron over here. Boom, do this. Ooh, it just gives us a crowbar. Yay, me. <laughs> okay, we're going to put the crowbar away. We're going to put the junk tool away and we're quickly going to go kill these zombies down below. I should probably actually make myself a farm. Like an XP farm. Just kill a ton of zombies that way. Oh, yeah, I forgot that we're starting to get way more radiators right now. Look at this. So we're going to need some more Molotov. Oh, what the hell? Oh, you are clever. Yeah, we're going to need some uh, more Molotov soon because they are starting to do way too much damage to us. Man, this looks so much like my Ways UK playthrough. The way everything's laid out. We have the right glasses on. Nice, nice, nice. I need the XP. Oh, clever. They're trying to stand on that pole and jumping up. This might be a cool horde defense. They're gonna only let like one or two at a time up here. As, soon, as long as you just do enough damage per second, you can make sure they don't actually really make it up here. And the ones that do, you can actually put like a turret on this side, shooting them in the face. That might actually be worth the experimentation. Just see if we can't do a defense like that. Come on, I need the good loot. Yeah, yeah, I hear you. I see you. You know what, you're just one zombie, let's just quickly do this. Wow, almost all the zombies are actually dropping meat right now, which is kind of cool. We're still getting pipe weapons from them. And scrap weapons. That means our level really isn't as high as I thought it was. But guys, for those of you that caught last episode, you you, uh, you saw, we are starting to see, uh, see demonic zombies. <laughs> we Well, we went past the wasteland, so they were there, next to a demon gate. But, the fact that we already have a quill weapon... Over here. And the fact that we're already seeing demonic zombies, even if it's in that biome, means that soon we're going to start seeing them out here as well. Now the problem is, we don't have enough ammo and stuff right now to really face them. Uh, what I could do... Just quickly grab this, start making myself some ammo. This should be at least a thousand rounds. But uh, we don't have enough tips and stuff. I need lead. So as soon as our trader opens up, I need to see if I can't buy some lead from the trader. Um, I should go mining as well, but if I don't find a vein, then it's going to be easier just to buy it. Damn, only, only 500. But still, 500 is better than nothing. <laughs> I'll actually test this out against the zombies we've been facing so far. Because I just have a feeling this is going to do way more damage. Because this weapon, uh, the quail weapons and stuff is way more advanced and way more powerful than anything we've used so far. I do need to make sure that everything is just completely healed. Uh, I'm going to drink this, drink that, drop the water, and then do this. Okay, so, I want to go start working on the horde base as well, because it's going to level us up while we're going. We do have cash over here. Um, let me just see over here. I'm actually thinking of using this, this, and this to make blocks. So we're going to go recipes, concrete shapes. Ooh, okay. Um, this one's crafting this. I'm going to have to cancel these crafts. Or scraps, rather. Because I want to actually help... Uh, I want help from this thing. Oh, now my pistol's purple. Okay, anyways. Uh, so I can make 216. That is 72 each. So 72 for you. 72 for you. And then 72 for me. Boom. Okay, and more... Boom. Okay, how much? How many skill points do I have? Only six. So I need to level up four more times. Hopefully with upgrades and stuff, I'll be able to do that. I need to level up four more times. Ooh, we're healing. To be able to master my scientist class. The sooner we have that mastered, the sooner it's going to help us tremendously. Okay, I think I'm going to do this now. Let's have this one over here. And I should probably see if we don't have any weapon mods for this one. But I doubt it. That is just burst mod. I want something that can really go... Okay, so at the moment, we do have for our drone that we want to craft, these are here. Um, it says that we can now make level uh, 51 
pistol, so I should actually try and make it. The nice thing is this one will serve as a repair one for that one. I think it's because I just did the uh, scientist mastery class. Just do... I could use one of these. Yeah, let's just use one of it. Uh, since I just completed the, the scientist chain, the class chain, that's what's now allowing me to make the pistol at purple quantity. Wait, we could also make this stuff. Okay, anyways, um, no, we can't. You have to find it. Coil. Pistol. Yeah, now look at that. That's 51. Compared to our level 41 over here. Unfortunately, we can't get higher than that. We need a laser workbench to combine them. Um, and even then, guys, I am really worried at this stage. Because we need to go to a big tech bunker and get the laser workbench from there. Or, I think I actually passed. Let me just show you guys over here quickly. This over here, I think, is a Caitlyn Trader. Because when I was driving past, the render distance was weird. But it was like a massive... It almost looked like the trader compound for a Caitlyn. So I just marked uh, trader, question mark, because I think it is. Oh, I want to test this. I want to test this so bad. Oh, wow. Okay, well, this is a what zombie? A normal zombie, right? Oh, radiated. Nice. But that's also decaying radiated. I want to make sure I test it against the best radiator that we uh, get over here. But for now, let's just save our ammo. I need to mod this gun as well. I should be able to make quite a few mods too. I should, my skill should be high enough to mod to, or to make mods. The thing is, do I know the recipe? That's the big question. If I don't know the recipe for it, then I can't make it. Hello. Wait, I should actually right click and then left click. Because uh, two right clicks is overkill right now. Yeah, look at that. Right and left. If right click isn't enough, then just one more left click should do the trick. But guys, my stamina is way too low. I'm going to try running away from something. And def it's definitely going to catch up with me. Okay, so we need to either make our own base soon. Oh, wow. Where did you guys come from? We need to either make our own base soon or we need to make a better way in for ourselves over here. I'm trying to save my stamina while attacking. Ooh, only left clicks left. Let's get up. Okay, so yeah. Um, I need to work on my stamina. I need to see what do we need to do to get my stamina higher. Is there a skill that I need to invest in right now? See, the skill points I want to save though. <laughs> I know that I need it for stamina. Although I don't think you can get it over here. Texture Terran Sword is already maxed out. That's regen of stamina. Um, health nut over here. Increases minimal wellness to 60, increases maximum wellness by 30, by 20. This is just for your health. It has to be something for your stamina as well, but I can't remember exactly what it was. And then pistol over here, we need to max this out to be able to get our quill pistol a nice boost. Yeah, is there any stamina perks underneath these then? Armor specialist. Yeah, we need this over here as well to be able to carry our armor better. Okay, uh, let's see. Can I make the drone already? I don't think so. I think it's under Master Scientist. Drone. No. It is definitely under Mastery, but it's going to be a level 21. Nice. I wonder what I need to up for that one. It's probably going to be Robotics Inventor over here. If I put some more points into this, then the drone we create is going to be a better quality one. Okay, so behind this, I'm going to put one more Quail Pistol. And then behind this one, I'm going to put two Quail Shotguns. Wait, the shotguns are only blue quality. What's up with that? Oh, I think it's gonna uh, supposed to be like security or something. If you uh, go through the chain quest over here, it's gonna allow you to craft a little bit better as well. So unfortunately, we just don't have the shotgun skill right now. Either way, okay, so parkour, what does this do exactly? Just spraining and falling and stuff. I thought that might actually help with your stamina as well. Athletics, I know this actually helps a lot. Look at this. 20%, 25% uh, stamina recovery while running. Uh, decreased stamina used for jumping 20%. But why are all of these the same? They all look exactly the same. Unless it just looks the same until you unlock it and then... Oh, that's a plus 25%. So we'll be able to run and run and run when we max out our, um, our wellness bits. Obviously, if you do power attacks and stuff between, it's going to dampen in your efforts. But still, it's, it's not a nice worth noting that we'll be able to do that. Okay, so let's grab all of our concrete over here. Steel as well, and cobble, and our nail guns, plural, might be able to use both of them. I don't know why that's in there. 
And then that goes to the trader. In the morning, we have to go to the trader. Although, technically, I should first probably go do the quests. Oh, there's a treasure map as well. Wait, I read two more treasure maps. There's one over there. There's one over there. See, these treasure maps might have some really good loot in them. And since we already in the previous episode over here got a Wandering Horde, that should have been the Wandering Horde. Also, this is a school, so if I could go for the final stash there, we might just get some luck as well. Okay, so let's see. We have all the resources. We're going to first build a bit while we wait for morning. Just do that. Cobble I'm going to take with me just in case they damage the cobble on the outside of the building a bit. And then this, let's just grab this for some backup ammo. This is just going to be if something attacks us while we're not ready, then at least we're going to have that. Okay, and then probably should use this one. Modify this one to get my ammo back, and then we'll use this one as a repair one. So as soon as the purple one's completely destroyed, instead of repairing, which is going to make level 46, we can combine it with this one to fully repair it. It's just a shame that we don't have any XP elixirs right now. If I had an XP elixir, I could actually really easily just go and get more XP while upgrading. That would have been so much easier. Yeah, we need to go on the, We need to work on the outlaw skill as fast as possible as well. We need to be able to insta reload this gun almost. And not just that, we need to be able to also go and shoot to our heart's content. So we need to make mods. Oh, I wanted to check for mods as well, but I forgot. I put the silence mod on this, but for now we'll just use this one. I don't want to draw the attention of too many baddies right now. There's definitely a massive wolf over there. I think that's a dire wolf. Okay, the sheep. Ooh, that's a massive wolf. Okay, so. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. What I wanted to do was make an, a next wall, right? Like, more wall. This needs to be wide on all the sides. And now we're just going to do this. Need to make sure we are wearing our XP glasses. I think we'll use the cobble to upgrade. Like, we'll place cobble blocks and upgrade them. Oh crap. Oh crap, oh crap, oh crap, oh crap. We should actually have the knife in between these two. Sure, that was a decaying zombie just now, but it seems this pistol is really good. But yeah, I'm gonna place cobble, I'm gonna upgrade all of it, and then when we run out of cobble, I'll go and see if we can't... Oh yeah, I said this will also be too thick, right? So all the way around needs to be concrete. And then I'm going to put a layer of cobble or concrete around that and upgrade. Like I was about to say guys, we need to place cobble and upgrade it because that's the easiest way for us to, up, uh, to level up. Look at my XP going. Working with concrete is indeed the best or easiest way to actually level up. Oh yeah, we need to make stuff steel as well. So I think because we're working on this, this is such an important part of the build. This needs to be steel first. So we're going to make steel, 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 and that's connected to steel as well. That way this thing should not, or rather, yeah, it should not. I, I wanted to say it must not, but it should not fall because it's steel holding each other up. If I'm, not, if I'm not mistaken, steel can hold like 40 blocks or something. I need to go into creative mode to be able to really check that out, but as far as I'm aware, that is the case. Okay, so break that one. We're going to place some cobble on this side. Just get to safety quickly. Okay, so this also, I want to make this concrete. Um, I should actually place my bike up here so I can place the steel in there for now. I don't want to accidentally use my steel for other stuff. My steel needs to only be for the entrance of here. If this entrance is steel, we don't have to worry at all about the defense for day 28. But the second layer going around also needs to be steel. So, this one over here. I haven't actually seen any mutated zombies yet. That bothers me. But yeah, that one over there, and then also... Remember, this needs to be go, uh, needs to go out one more. As you guys can see, there's a layer of concrete here, and another layer of concrete here. There's only one on this side. So I need to place cobble on this side and upgrade it. I could have sworn we had more cobble blocks, though. Am I mistaken? I, I think I might have actually left some cobble over there. Yeah, anyways, um, we, are, we can't really go any further until I've done that. But now, let's quickly make this steel then. As long as the entrance of here is steel and the wall around is steel. Hello! 
Uh, we should be good to go. I want to see how fast I can take this down with this gun. Well, if I actually do a headshot, I'm actually doing some real damage with this gun. If this is a shotgun, especially early game, you waste so much ammo. Okay, John, save the rest of this ammo, please. We'll use the shotgun to kill this wolf. It's free meat, so we can just as well. Let's partake in the meat. Wait, was that that wolf or the wolf? Other wolf. And that wolf's also getting closer. Let's just quickly get him as well. I don't want to worry about a wolf behind me while I'm busy building over here. There you go. Ooh, this is a dire wolf. This is a big one. Oh no, come on, don't run away. I should have used my coil gun. If I used the coil gun just now, I would have been able to kill him before he ran, ran away. But he's gonna come back anyway, so for now we'll just finish this up while we wait for him to come back. Remember guys, if you hurt a wild animal like that one, um, they first run away out of fear and then they decide, you know what, revenge time. And they actually come back for you, so be careful. Yep, look at this. Although I have a way better gun than you have fur. Or skin, or whatever that's called. Hide, yeah, hide. I have a way better gun that your hide is tough, so... Oh, that sucks. How did that happen? What? That is messed up just now. That was an accidental misplace. And it looks so barren over here with all the mist. I wonder if the mist actually helps with lag. Because if it doesn't spawn in stuff on that side over there, or show that stuff over there, then it should help with lag, right? Okay, so now I can actually place this wall over here. As soon as this is upgraded, the rest of the wall can be concrete. But we don't have enough cobble blocks. I could have sworn we had way more. I know I ran out of cobble, but still. Um... Let me just see how far I can actually get with this upgrade over here. Probably just drop the steel over here in case I accidentally use it. Oh wow. We're running out of steel really fast right now. I didn't think we were that low just now. See, the more we can upgrade, the more we level up. That's my goal right now. We could easily just place concrete uh, blocks over here for the wall, but then we don't get any XP for that. I mean, sure, we got XP for crafting, but only those we crafted on ourselves. Since we didn't have the workbenches open, we didn't get any of that XP. I just really hope it's going to be a while until we start getting the demonic zombies during Horde Night. If we get those now already, <laughs> we don't have enough ammo for that. We're going to have to run away from the Horde. The whole floor over here also needs to be replaced as well. Unfortunately. Let's see how far we can place this. We're gonna upgrade it and then we should go to the base and quickly see if we can't make some more cobble. It's gonna be way better for us just getting XP from upgrading than it will be to make the blocks themselves. I actually wanna see if you make concrete blocks, like turn concrete into blocks, does that give you XP or not? Because at this stage, I'm actually doubting that it does. It might just be way better just upgrading from scratch. It's more convenient just placing the concrete block as is. But I think it's more worth it upgrading from cobble. It's more resources used, but you actually get some XP as well. And my health still isn't all the way up, so I should eat one more meat stew. And that should give me all the health I need, all the healing I need. Okay, nothing over here. Well, shotguns over there. Was I busy with something over here? I know that I have some ammo crafting over there. But other than that, we don't really have anything else. Okay, building supplies. Nope. Resources. Yeah, let's just do that quickly. How long is this going to take, though? If I were to turn this into a thousand cobble, per se. Ten minutes. Okay, we can do a thousand there. A thousand here. Wait, what? Oh, I was about to say, damn, you can go from the raw materials to that. That would be so awesome. I actually almost got my hopes up just now that it's going to be faster. Wait, why is it faster in the workbench? So we can actually do 2,000, yeah, and another 1,000 over here. 
But let's time we get back from the trader because I want to see if the trader doesn't have some stuff for us, like resources. Um, hopefully the trader actually has a uh, late for us. Otherwise, I'm going to have to be stop being lazy. And just quickly go, go get my own lead. Let's see this. Um, on the one hand, we should quickly probably go do the quest. What if, that is a fetch and clear. The waterworks. It's just not going to do right now. Uh, la, 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 la. Let's go for the treasure maps. That might actually give us some good loot. And then that's going to give us time to have all of the stuff cra finish crafting. We'll go to the trader after we have the treasure maps. And then we'll see if the trader has some lead. Technically, we should first go to the trader. Because if the trader doesn't have lead, then on our way to the treasures, if we see lead, we know we have to stop. I'm just really worried right now. The only reason I'm putting off going towards the waterworks is we might need a better quail pistol. Like a faster quail pistol. Because I have this feeling that we're going to start getting demonic zombies soon. It's most likely going to be in a level 5 clear quest. But even level 4, if there's just one demonic zombie spawning in there and we are unable to kill it, then we won't be able to finish that quest. If we can't finish the quest, then we are, we're going to be in a world of hurt. Damn, I just realized there's so many zombies I just passed. If I kill them all as I pass them, it's a ton of XP. But to do this every now and then, it's going to be annoying. <laughs> just for a little bit of XP. But hopefully we don't have to drive too far or over too many obstacles to get to these treasures though. And this time around we have the quail pistol, right? And we have some... We don't have monotovs. Ooh, I need to buy some more monotovs. But yeah, um, hopefully this time around, if we get another wandering horde while we're in a pit... We'll be able to uh, shoot our way out with the uh, quail pistol. Oh, this time around, because I realized I want to rewatch the footage, guys. I freaked out. And what I did was I didn't place or didn't keep placing frames. If I kept placing frames like I was doing. I might have been able to keep the one lady zombie from getting to me. I only placed one frame. She broke it. She got to me easily. If I wasn't so freaked out, I might have been able to think clearly and place more frames. Remember guys, if you're going up a hill very slowly, try and see if you can't go sideways. If you can go up a hill sideways, it's going to be a little bit faster as well. Oh, I hate digging in a hill. Oh yeah, there's something on your steel. Okay, so what I'm going to do now... Let's do this, let's do that. I'm going to dig down. I'm going to be careful of stuff digging into us. I'm going to dig down. The nice thing of Darkest Falls is you can see where the treasure is. by going into one by one. If you go like this, where is this bugger? Down there. Okay, so I'm just gonna hide over here. Yep, just like so. If something attacks me, you can place frames over there and you know, I'm already gonna do that. I'm gonna place frames here this time so they have to, they have to dig down to me if they really wanna get to me. Hopefully we're open up, uh, able to open all of this up before anything really serious gets to us right now. Also, I need to make sure before we open this up that I'm wearing the right glasses. I want some good loot right now. Nope, let me just put that on before I forget. I don't know if lockpicking has anything to do with intellect, in which case I might actually need to keep the nerdy glasses on until it's open and then swap out. Uh, no. Accidentally hold R. Oh, how many lockpicks do I have? 28. Come on. I'm playing with in the dark, so every now and then I keep pressing the wrong button. Yes. Okay, Um, she's coming down to us. Nice, that's a lot of cash. Ooh, lag. Okay. Should be good to go. Let's go. There's definitely zombies all around. We need to be careful of them. Especially earlier, a zombie hit me without me even realizing it was there. <laughs> so I need to be way more careful. I want to see if I drive this far away around, if I'm able to go around that hill. Okay, let's go, let's go, let's go. Why can't I place my vehicle? There you go. And turn, turn, turn. And away we go. Oh, wow. I'm stuck on this hill. But guys, I really hope that we're going to get either a ton of cash or we start getting some really good loot from these. Um, if we do a level 5 
dig quest. There's a very big chance that we're going to get a laser multi-tool and start getting laser stuff. But we need to get our skills that high first. I'm actually thinking of not doing level 5 quests. Um, and uh, We're only going to do dig quests, basically. Any other level 5 quests I'm not going to do for now until we have a ton of ammo, armor, guns. Are we able to move with weight on us, that kind of thing. What's going to be the point of going into a level 5? We can get a ton of demons, but you just don't have the means to kill them. But I know in the dig quest, there's rarely any uh, any demonic zombies there. So all you need to do is kill all the radiated zombies that come for you. Although, so far, how many times have I died from radiated zombies? Because they keep overwhelming me. Okay, so there's zombies coming down to me. Yeah, come on, come on. This time I actually have some frames down. And as long as I shoot you in the face, it should be good to go. The radiated zombies are just oh, too fast and overpowering though, so that's why they can get away with it. Hello, lady. Imagine she actually jumps into the soul. Is that a dude or a girl? That's a dude. Imagine he also falls down here with us. Come on, give me something good. Eh. The cash is good. Don't get me wrong, the cash is good. But everything else is just subpar. Okay, I need you guys to fall down here with me, please. Unless I can just grab my bike. Yep, let's just do that. Bye bye. I don't feel like them jumping on my head while I'm here. Okay, so unfortunately we can't go for that treasure over there. So we're gonna go straight down to the trader. Although if I could quickly do the uh, scout's quest for the uh, scout, we might actually be able to get some XP as well from this. It's just a shame that we can't go for the treasure in the wasteland right now. You just know there's gonna be some good loot. And the nice thing is we just need one more hazmat piece. Oh, I need to check the trader for that as well. If I can buy the, uh, the hazmat um, headpiece, we'll be able to go into the wasteland and do some uh, digging. Only problem is we're going to need some um, explosives and stuff for ourselves. Because unfortunately, we are then going to be without armor if we're just wearing a hazmat suit. So you need the hazmat uh, add-ons, the hazmat uh, mods, to be able to really go into the wasteland unbothered. Until then, we're just going to have to make do with what we have. But if we can just go in with a hazmat and hopefully not get too many zombies coming for us, we should be able to then go and get some really good loot. Because since it's, uh, since it's in the wasteland, you just know the loot stage is going to help out a lot. Unless in Darkest Falls, loot stage doesn't mean a thing. That's going to suck. Okay, now this is level 5. We see the radiant zombies and stuff spawning over there. Um, We only have one Molotov left. Only the one. I want to do this so I'm able to jump like a bunny over here. And then to my bike, the last one. Okay, so please, please, please. We have the quill gun in case we really need it. Uh, this wall over there in case we need to drive to that one. These guys are all going to be radiated. Drive, drive, drive. And around, shock into the face. See, when they're on the fire, they're easier to kill, but as soon as that fire runs out, they regen so fast. Oh crap. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Reload's too slow. See, this quail gun is really good. Like, I'm really super glad that I made it. <laughs> but even a level 4 kill face like this is a little bit hard for me. And that's actually bothering me, because if this is hard, what's gonna level 5 gonna be like? The scout's quests are just gonna get harder and harder and harder. I'm actually hoping to kill a behemoth or something. But if we kill a behemoth, it needs to be on the edge of the radiation zone. So we perhaps get some really good loot that it drops. Oh, where do we need to go right now? We need to go for this. Okay, so now we just have to go hand this in. I need to check for hazmat pieces and for lead from the trader. So hopefully I remember because I keep forgetting stuff like this. I tell myself I want to do stuff and then I completely forgot what I wanted to do. Oh, hello. Nice resources over here. What are you doing back here? Oh wow, that was bad shooting. I ran straight into them. I still missed. Be 
careful, John. You're in a very dangerous zone right now. Ooh, see, this is a proper radiator zombie. 450 HP or 500 almost. See, I'm focused too much on doing headshots. And that's not the way I should be aiming. I should be aiming right there. Like for the neck area, the chest neck. If you aim there, there's less likely a chance of you missing. They can still do some serious damage. Let's go, let's go, let's go. I don't want to get stuck on taking out small fry. I want to get to the straighter quickly and see if we can't get some good stuff. Okay, uh, let me just turn. Oh crap, I thought we might be able to do that. Let's go, let's go, let's go. If this bike was a little bit faster, we might have been able to make that ramp. That would have been cool though. Oh, imagine you could actually put turrets on your gun, on your vehicle. And as you drive past a zombie, it actually shoots the zombie and you get the XP. Or blades, you decap them as you drive past them, that would be cool. At the moment, I don't think you get any XP for killing a zombie with your vehicle. You have to be the one that actually pulls the trigger. Okay, so first things first, we're gonna talk to this lady. I always forget to hand in her quest to her. What are you looking for? Ooh. Oh wow, 12 notes, nice. And a Winchester. That's actually really good. Ooh, nail bombs. 25 explosion damage. That's not really much, is it? Okay, uh, let's do that. And then any more jobs? Tier 4. Let's Can see if it's help me? within my reach. Yes, it is. Okay, as long as it's not there, because we can't get into that radiation zone. And I am getting XP for handing in these quests. Nice. You break it, you buy it. Okay, we can't get any more jobs from you. But for now, can you please buy some stuff? Remember guys, in this mod, you sell mods and uh, weapons and stuff separately to get the most out of it. And others are mods and vanilla, you have to combine them to get the most out. Okay, so molotovs. Ooh, 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 first, resources. 550, yeah, not bad. We have 26,000, so I don't have to worry. It's a shame that's all the lady had though. Day 26 is going to re uh, reset, but that's too far from now. I think since we only have one trader per well, uh, per town, there's no multi-traders in Darkest Falls, I'm actually thinking of going to all the traders every time they reset. I'm making use of all of them, because I mean, why not? Okay, uh, Molotovs, thank you. We need the best guns, the best ammo, the best everything as soon as possible. And I'm actually starting to get this itch like, oh, be careful. Like, we're not going to make it in time. Okay, wait. Science and medicine is the same. There's nothing over here. Okay. Uh, so, oh, 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 yeah, hazmat. Please tell me you have the hazmat. I don't think so. I don't remember ever seeing hazmat pieces at the trader. I might be wrong, though. But if, the, if a trader sells a hazmat hat, I'm going to buy it. If we can get that helmet, it's going to help us tremendously. I can you believe it guys, I arranged everything, like all the cars, all the street lamps, everything, except the one inside the trailer. Although the other towns obviously aren't wrenched, so <laughs> I need to go do can them again. You? Let's see, what do you have to sell? Honey, painkillers, ooh, look at all that aloe vera. I seen it cost? This one's 68, yeah, we can make ourselves a ton of uh, health kits with it, first aid kits. Do that, do that, do that. Should be it for now. But you guys, I'm cool episode here. I'm gonna go back to the base and drop everything off. Um, next episode we're gonna be keep on building because I know that in Darkest Falls, I wonder if it's still too cobble shaped. I, I remember in Darkest Falls Alpha 19, if you crafted cobble shapes on you that was four cobble, crafted in the workbench that's two cobble. So I want to get back to the base and see if I can't make myself a ton of cobble shapes for cheap. But I'm not sure that if, if it's possible in Alpha 20. Either way, we need cobble. To continue our horde base. So if you, guys, if you guys like this episode, please like and share with your friends. Any comments, or tips, or feedback, leave it down below. And if you guys are new to this channel, please remember to hit the subscribe button for more of this content. See you guys next time. A big thank you to all my members and patrons for your support. To join them in supporting the channel, please click join or the Patreon link in the description down below.